Secret Service agents, secret activities are now out in the open. And now even more agents could be losing their jobs. Doug Luzader joins us live. Good morning. Good morning. Well, the one thing about this is clear. That's that a number of Secret Service careers are coming to an end. A Secret Service supervisor who lost his job after agents were accused of partying and hiring prostitutes at this Columbia hotel had once bragged on his Facebook page that while protecting then vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin four years ago, he was, in his words, checking her out. That drew this from Palin. Well, check this out, bodyguard, you're fired, and I hope his wife kicks his Ocoli and sends him to the doghouse. And as the investigation continues in Columbia, we've learned that the agents prepared well in advance for their night on the town, renting a party room back at the hotel. One lawmaker who's being briefed by Secret Service Chief Mark Sullivan suggested more agents will be fired. As the investigation goes forward and more evidence comes out, I think we can expect to see him move against other of the agents as well. And there are political overtones, too, for the White House, as some Republicans question the president's management skills. Beyond the Secret Service incident, there's the ongoing probe into lavish spending at the GSA and taxpayer losses in companies like Solyndra. The White House pushed back. Perhaps it would be in the interest of uh, a complete and thorough and fair investigation uh, not to uh, make determinations about the conclusions of an investigation before they've even been reached. Not now. The investigation continues, and this obviously involves the Secret Service, but it also involves the Pentagon, uh, and there are investigators on the ground working in Colombia right now. Back to you guys. All right, All right. Doug, thanks. Later today, an attorney will ask a Florida judge.